H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Hi guys, good evening everyone. So hopefully everyone has joined I think. Okay. So fine. So today we are going to start discussing about the new ecosystem called as PIG. Okay. So till now the topics that we have covered are So is everybody able to hear me? Okay. Fine. Cool. So till now we had discussed about HDFS MapReduce Cluster Planning etc. Right? So Topics list left for our course are Pick, Hive, Hbase, Scoop and Flu. Right? So from today let's start discussing about Pick. So the initial days when we started our course we why during the discussion of our Hadoop ecosystems we had just introduced what is PIG right so do anyone remember about what is PIG actually at least on a very very high level So no one remembers. Hmm. Please, I'm expecting Rahul, Lakshay, Arjun, and Nisha. Okay, good. High-level data flow and processing framework. So Rahul is saying. And Akshay. Actually, it's not like SQL, but still I will let you know like what is the difference between uh, Pig and Hive because Hive basically is a kind of SQL whereas Pig is a kind of a much more uh, procedural language or a data flow language where you can think of like a PLSQL. I mean, I'm not saying that it is equal to PLSQL, but the difference how you see between an SQL and PLSQL is a kind of difference what you see in Pig and Hive. Okay. So it's not like uh, I do I directly give some uh, select statements or some only for fetching data, but here I can do much more processing as well. So there will be set of statements coupled together which will give you some particular output. It's not like a single line statement what we write in SQL. So as Rahul is saying, it is a high level data flow language for processing any of the data that is available on our HDFS. It's not for processing framework, it's for processing data available on our 
HDFS. So again, data storage, the only way we have is HDFS. But for processing, we have different ecosystems or different ways. I can do it through MapReduce or Pick or maybe Hive etc etc. Okay, I mean whatever the topics that we are going to discuss in our class, I am just touching those ecosystems as well. But there are a lot many ecosystems, maybe uh, more than 30 ecosystems where you have only for processing. But for all of them, the data storage is HDFS. That's it. So this is the single point of area where I can do or I can save some data. Okay, so let's start going through our So let's see a bit background about PIG. Okay, so the reason why PIG has developed is many developers did not have Java or MapReduce knowledge required to write standard MapReduce programs. But still they are in need of getting some analysis on data. So right now if we take uh, the students in our class we are not familiar with Java right most of us are not familiar it is few of them are okay or at least they were able to understand but few of them it's like a complete newbie where they can't understand but still they want to work or get into Hadoop ecosystems so the different ways we have or the possible ways we have to step into Hadoop is learning other ecosystems as well I mean not only depending on MapReduce but people are in need of learning few other ecosystems from a developer point of view okay we will be able to understand MapReduce and slowly we will cope up writing some MapReduce or Java programs but what if we come to uh, situations like we have data analysts or maybe business analysts or business scientists or something or so we have few other roles in our current market so for them also the data analysis is one of the major part but still from their point of view they were not aware of these development concepts so for them we have introduced a few other ecosystems where they can easily write some simple queries in the form of queries and they can abstract the data whatever they are in need so that's the reason they have introduced a new ecosystems on top of MapReduce which is called as PIG there is no full form for PIG it's just like the name PIG was introduced because uh, maybe you will get uh, <laughs> a laugh but PIG is like it will eat all kinds of data right I mean it will eat everything whatever that was available to PIG it will eat so in the same way PIG can be processed on any kind of data so probably if you want to do some processing or unstructured data or maybe semi-structured data PIG is a right choice when compared to MapReduce so coming to the next point Yahoo which was the first big adapter of Hadoop so PIG was actually introduced at Yahoo so uh, people uh, residing at Yahoo they were trying to do some analysis and few of them have seen that it's very difficult or it's taking a very big processing steps to do some analysis at least some basic analysis also it's taking a lot of time and they started working on a developing on a new ecosystem so after few attempts they have come up with a new ecosystem called as PIG how do you gain popularity in the company quickly so once pig was introduced people were more interested or more fascinated towards Hadoop because it's not like a complex thing that they have to learn Java and then only they can step into Hadoop so pig is a simple or easier procedural language or maybe you can much more think like a data flow language which can be understood for more persons out of development concepts 
so that's the reason people got started attracting more towards hadoop once pig was introduced at ahu research team developed pig to address the need for a higher level language to increase the adoptability of framework so if you take map reduce first of all i have to know the model and then i have to know the framework later on once i understand the model and framework i have to understand the programming concepts of java or at least if not java any language something programming language like c c++ or anything i have to learn so until and unless i have a programming background i will not be able to step into hadoop so there were like much more complexities to do some research on big data so that's the reason pig was introduced which is a kind of high level abstraction which sits on top of map reduce so right now at yahoo they were able to most of them uh, they were doing like 30% of their jobs run on pig itself so i don't say that this is not this is the only processing systems that were available in hadoop but this is also one of the good processing systems that were available for big data it's not like it's a complete replacement for map reduce but the development approach what we are going to do when compared to map reduce is different so the just a learning curve is being replaced but behind the scenes behind the scenes everything happens the same when compared to map reduce we will see how it actually works but right now just understand that uh, the developing the development approach is only being changed but internally the execution processing and everything will be happen in the form of map reduce only so it's like just the way data get processed remains the same okay and also one more thing i want to mention here is uh, if you try to compare map reduce and pig here map reduce is kind of a master technology where in pig we can treat it as a subset of map reduce itself so whatever that is done in map reduce cannot be always done through pig but the reverse is possible so whatever that can be done in pig and hive we can done it in map reduce but maybe it needs much more complexity or much more customization or map reduce for example if i want to write a program in map reduce first of all i have to know so if you take the steps in map reduce i have to know the framework model and then the input should be divided into input splits and then the mapper phase comes into picture partitioner so you remember hopefully i think you all remember these things combiner shuffle and sort phase and finally reduce phase right so totally there were so many steps that were involved in order to get an output for a particular data analysis right that's the reason people were not much more getting interest on map reduce but here if you take there will be very very less number of steps but i will tell you what are the steps that were involved to write a pig program but for now just think like the number of steps that were involved or the number of processing steps that were involved in pig were very very less and in map reduce if at all i want to uh, get some information particular information i use it to get it from libraries right but that's not the case in pig there will be no addition of libraries or nothing like that there were few inbuilt functions where we can use in pig such that it will uh introduce that functionality into our pig script itself so i don't need to add any libraries so even even though you can think like map reduce is also a kind of abstracted programming language because there we are having libraries and interfaces where you can do much more abstraction but still if you want to write some complex program it is becoming difficult to have it in map reduce 
so that's the reason people were looking for pig and the main usage of pig is for data line data pipelining or data cleansing in the sense uh, whatever the initial processing that was required on my huge amount of data that can be done easily through pig rather than map reduce so if i say initial processing it can be like initial transformation or analysis maybe suppose i have a video and i want to do some analysis on that video okay so the, there will be few things that i don't need that information at all on that video maybe the click sounds or whatever the changes of font sizes from yesterday to today or maybe some internal testing that was happening or maybe the ads that were coming into my actual video before my video starts there may be 5 seconds or 6 seconds ads right but i don't need them exactly for my particular data analysis so all those kinds of things can be abstracted through pig so it's much more user for data cleansing as well so that's what a bit about background on pig so we will see the definition of what exactly pig is it is a part of hadoop ecosystem for processing data which is stored in hdfs it's also you can consider pig as a tool itself for analyzing large data sets in parallel similar to map reduce so as i told you the processing is similar to map reduce but the things what you will see in the front end will be different when compared to map reduce in map reduce you will have to write a driver program you will have to write a mapper program and then a reducer program at least these three things are mandatory apart from partitioner and combiner at least few things that were mandatory to write in map reduce to do some execution but for here there are no mandatory things whatever you want you just throw it there are there are no mandatory things or something like that here okay compiles down to map reduce job so this is one of the important point so whatever the program that you write in map uh, in pig internally once the pig execution starts it will be compiled down to map reduce jobs so whatever lines that you are writing in pig internally a jar will be created and it will be submitted to my job tracker as a map reduce program only uh, remember a blind point here our hadoop framework will be able to understand only map reduce framework okay it will not be able to understand anything else other than mapper driver and reducer so everything needs to be compiled down into map reduce jobs only whatever the ecosystem you take not pig hive or something else maybe you go to some other ecosystems also but internally it has to transform into map reduce jobs because it is the only thing that our framework can understand at least with the current version what we have in hadoop maybe in the future we may get much more changes but right now if you think it can understand only map reduce jobs and even in pink you can write much more user defined functions as well can talk a bit about limitations of pick compared to map reduce with a next uh i didn't get you rahul i mean uh, you are asking about the limitations of map reduce or limitations of pick okay so for example if you take the uh, inverted index processing only it's not possible in pick uh, for example if i want to get a particular word that is available in all the files it's not be able to get everything in the form of key value pairs for me through pick but in map reduce it's very easier because everything will be thrown in key value pairs only uh, but if you take the example of joins or something else in pick it is much more easier rather than doing in map reduce because for joins again you have to run so many programs 
for example i have to write a mapper program for joining the data sets and i have to generate the keys and a tag for joining those data sets and then i have to write a combine function for those things as well in my map reduce and finally i have to get the output and before i get the output i have to check like what kind of joining i am writing maybe inner join or outer join and based on that i have to drop few things so in that case pig is much more useful but when you take the things like getting data of uh, uh, how many files that were available for a particular word or those kind of things map reduce is the right choice okay but still i mean uh, once we go in depth i will explain you the comparisons between map reduce and pig also okay so don't worry about that welcome so okay uh, where am okay so in pick i can use uh, user defined functions also i mean rather than writing uh, built in functions what are available in pick i can very well declare user defined functions also which can be reused in my later parts also okay we can see those things also so it's like much more useful than the libraries developed for using map reduce programs so in the same way i can develop user defined functions also here but for few things again as rahul asked uh, map reduce is the only way where i can do some image processing i mean uh, i have to convert a particular uh, video file into a pdf at that kind at that point of time i can do it only through map reduce internally i can convert it into binary systems and then only i can convert into map reduce but if that is the requirement that was given to my pig it's very complex and it's very difficult and i can much more say like we cannot do through pig so the map only jobs and all those things whatever the examples that we had seen in map only jobs those things can be done only through map reduce but not through pig and coming to motivation of pig okay the first point is faster development this is the major thing why people are getting fascinated towards pig because if i want to write a map reduce program at least i have to code 100 lines but in pig maybe all that functionality i can include it through 10 lines or maybe 15 lines so the development phase or writing a pig script is very easier and the second one is map reduce is a very powerful tool but it requires a java program as we all discussed the main drawback for map reduce is even though it has many things it talks about the only drawback for it is i have to know java programming at least if not java programming maybe some programming background should be there uh, c++ or c at least for writing streaming jobs i have to know them one criticism of map reduce is that the development cycle is very long as you see here the number of steps that were involved in writing a map reduce a single map reduce program is at least 8 to 9 steps right but here the number of steps is very simple and hence we can say like the development cycle is very small for pick and also uh, i want to include one more point here pick is not suitable for all data processing tasks like map reduce it is defined for batch processing but if at all i want to perform a query that touches only a small amount of data in a very huge data set or maybe i have some uh, 10 terabytes or 20 terabytes of data and i want to do some processing only on 1 terabyte of data then at that point of time pick is not a good choice because it scans the whole data set whenever i write a script and submit it and in some cases pick doesn't perform as well as programs written in map reduce also so we will discuss those cases also 
so coming to the pig data flow basically pig is a client side installation it is not part of hadoop cluster in the sense pig doesn't sits on hadoop cluster like hdfs or mapreduce frameworks uh, whatever that are going to be get installed defaultly whenever i install hadoop pig is not that kind of thing so i have to install pig separately and it is going to sit on client system rather than cluster so even though i install pig or not it's not going to affect my cluster so my cluster will be in the same form so basically pig is made up of two parts the first one is pig latin and the next one is pig execution environment so pig latin is a new language and it it is written in the form of scripts and all the scripts will be given as input to my pig system so two components majorly one is pig latin it's all together a new language which is given as a input to my pig system and the second one is pig execution environment so there are two types here the first one is local execution which happens in a single jvm and the second one is distributed execution on a hadoop cluster we will see the both forms but for now remember there are two different execution modes one is local execution and distributed execution and there is one language called as pig latin which is altogether a new language which is used to write pig scripts okay now whatever we are writing in the form of scripts we will be writing it in pig latin and we will be giving it to input as a pig system so my pig system sits on my client machine and whatever uh, the program that was given to my pig system is converted into jar file and all that will be get compiled on my pig system only now once that was done it will be given or it will be converted in the form of map reduce jar once it is submitted internally it will be converted into map reduce jar and finally it will be given to hadoop system so for cluster it doesn't know how the program is submitted means in which form this actual program is submitted a uh, cluster cannot understand that for a cluster it will be a basical uh, input jar file that was submitted but maybe that jar file might be produced through a mapreduce program or maybe through a pick script or maybe through a hive program as well cluster will not be able to understand that how the client has submitted the job it can only understand that okay a client has submitted a job and i got a jar file which needs to be executed okay let me start the processing and give it back the output to client so that is the only thing cluster will be able to see or it will be aware of so that's what pig provides a higher level language called as pig latin increases productivity the first point is <clears throat> the number of lines that needs to be written in pig will be less when compared to map reduce suppose 200 lines of java will be equal to 10 lines in my pig latin so that's what the main difference here in in one test 
10 lines of pig latin is equal to 200 lines of java actually before c and c++ were treated as low level language and java was treated as a high level language right but these days what's happening is even java is getting considered as a low level language also because so much of coding is required in java if at all i want to do a small operation as well so uh, if you take the high level languages that were created recently you can take pick as a high level language when you compare java which is treated as a low level language today so whatever that took 4 hours to write a java program it is taking only 15 minutes or 20 minutes for me to write the same functionality or to introduce the same functionality through pig latin so that is one of the main advantage and the next one is apart from productivity opens the system to non java programs so okay find the number of lines that needs to be written or decreased or the number of uh, code that needs to be written is becoming easy apart from the productivity data analysis are also i mean data analysts are also able to analyze this huge data so it's not like only a java developer or maybe c c++ developer is able to do some analysis uh, even the business analysts or data scientists and data analysts were also able to start working or able to start processing something on their big data that were needed for them and one of the major advantage in pig is it provides common operations like join group filter sort these are few examples that were i am showing but there are many more built in functions that were going to be built whenever i install hadoop so directly i can use the join function if at all i want to write if i want to do a join operation but if you case if you take the map reduce case there is no built in function for join right because of that only i had written uh, or i have to write a very huge program just to perform a sample join operation so if you remember our customers table and orders table just to get the information like uh, how many customers are there for each of the order on a particular day i have to write a very big program which include number of functions but in case of pick it's just a built in function where i can give the join operation like we uh, if anyone is aware of sql or db2 they will be knowing like how we will uh, perform the join operation in sql how much it's easy to perform a join operation so the same way we can write simple steps maybe one or two steps to write this only join operation itself but i will show you like how to write join operations and all but just for people who knows a bit at least a basic idea on db2 or sql for them they can understand like uh, how much it's easy to write a join operation and the last one is it is a data flow language rather than a procedural language so uh, whatever we are writing maybe in c or c++ we are calling through uh, we are calling them as a functions and we will be calling internally as a function also right so we can use whatever the function that was written in our program again in another program through functions or something like that but here it is just a step by step execution and no calling of pick scripts or nothing will be there so it's just only a step by step where we can understand it easily and process them much more better form and coming to the installation part or distribution part uh, the version which we are going to be used in ubuntu for pick is 0.04 .1 version so it's up to me like uh, which version i want to install on my hadoop cluster but the only thing that we have to keep in mind is whatever the version we are going to be installed for pick it should be compatible with my hadoop version so if you remember we got the hadoop version as something 0 0.11 or something like that 0.7 i think i'm not sure so for that version the our pick version should be compatible 
you. So let me show you what all I have. Oh, okay. See, if at all you want to download something for Epic version, they will show you like this particular release will work with Hadoop release 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 or something like that so they are just giving they are showing you the compatibility also before you download pig so if at all I'm trying to download my pig I'm looking for 0.11 version and this version is compatible with Hadoop 0.20 of any versions X means I can give it as 1 2 3 and so on and also Hadoop 1.x, 0.23x and 2.x so all these versions of Hadoop are compatible with my pig release version which is 0.11.1 so if at all you have installed any other Hadoop version apart from what we discussed in our class just check for the compatibility before you download pig so this is the area where you are going to download so everything whatever that we are going to install in our Hadoop ecosystems we will be downloading through our Apache mirrors only so go through any of the site here and you can download pick so I'm looking for pick 0.11.1 version maybe it was last modified on 2013 as I told you if you remember uh, it's always better to go a version at least one or two levels down whatever the latest version that is available don't go for, for, for that version because it will have some bugs internally so it's always go to it's always better to go for a stable version so I would be downloading that tar.gz file so you can download this pick 0.11.1 tar.gz file into your Hadoop cluster and then you can start working on pick so pick is not the default system that is going to be installed on my Hadoop so the only two things that get installed when I say that I have installed Hadoop is HDFS and MapReduce framework only but anything else other than that we have to download in this way only okay so whenever you install Hadoop just try checking whether the Hadoop I mean whenever you install pick on your Hadoop just try checking whether the installation has been done properly or not for that you can have a simple command called as pick so this command should be you should be able to execute this command if at all you have installed pick on your system so it's telling like apache pick version 0.11.1 have been installed here and it's a sample command which shows you the help commands okay so there will be help everywhere in any of the language right so like that only here just try to give any of the command on pick and you should be able to get these things so then only you can say that pick is installed on your cluster so uh, let me show you so at this particular location I have downloaded pick and installed it okay so once you download it these are the default things that you would be getting after your installation so again in pick also you are having a configuration directory 
so it will just show you the big properties you don't need to change anything on this but it will show you whatever the properties that were available basically for pick so in order to execute any of the pick program you should be able to see this properties file once you download pick and the next one is uh, point your bash or c file to pig home so it's like just uh, instead of giving the whole path of user hadoop in hadoop 1.0.3 pig 0.11.1 i can directly give as pig home if at all i have i declare this statement in my bash or c file okay anything else i don't think so so that's all you have to change if at all you want to install pick and one more thing if at all you are doing uh, i mean if at all you are going to install pick in distributed systems then again on your configuration files you have to give the uh, machine ids and all pointing to pick so we are not going to do it because we are going to run all this in sudo distributed mode only if you have more than one or three systems and you are going to form a cluster then that is the thing we have to concentrate on and the statements uh, i just wanted to show you the statements also hmm okay so whenever you download a tar file the step that you have to follow is so i have went into this fifth step which is download hadoop distribution we are at the same place right we have downloaded pig distribution so that's the reason i directly went to this step okay so and all these things we already have we have this user path hadoop ins path and all those things so no need to follow these steps the only thing that you have to do is extract the tar file so you will be getting the tar file and in order to see the contents of that particular tar file you have to extract it for that the command you have to follow is sudo tar xzf instead of giving hadoop 1.0.3 give pig 1.11.0 or whatever the version you the pig version you have downloaded give that version dot tar dot gz so this will extract you the tar file and once that was done just give full permissions with the current user so sudo chown or your username and then group name followed by your pig version instead of giving hadoop 1.0.3 give pick 1.11.0 so as i told you update the bash or c file i had shown you the export statement right so update your bash or c file and you should be good to start working on pick so these are the only things that i see that you have to update in your systems okay good so so we are at this particular position right HK Infosys provides world class online IT training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide H2K Infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review 
mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.